Hello everybody and welcome to my 18th VBA 2010 tutorial. This tutorial is going to go into using arrays. So arrays are can be a, a bit of a tricky concept to get your head around but once you understand them well then they're really useful and once you get into more advanced programming techniques they become really really essential. So an array is a group of variables. So where a variable you just have so dim a via as integer. So you just have a variable and it's one piece of data stored in memory of your computer. So an array is slightly different. It's a a group of variables all, all stored in the same place within the memory of your computer but it's kind of split out into a sort of grid in your computer with with indexes so that you can reference them. So the easiest way to show you is probably just to, to get going and start writing them and then explain them as we go along. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to do just a, a one-dimensional array. So this is just going to be essentially a list of variables but they're all going to be linked together. So I'm going to put dim and you still do them exactly the same way you start off a normal variable so dim and then I'm gonna call it my array and then you just need to put an open bracket and a closed bracket and in that bracket we're gonna put how many items we want in our array an important thing to remember is that your the number of items that you put in here in your array is going to be one more than the one less than there actually are. So if I put three, there's actually going to be four items in our list. But the reason for that is our indexing starts at zero. So the first element of your array in in that list is going to be called zero, and then you're going to get one, and then you get it two, and then you get it three. So if we put my array three, that's going to give us four variables to work with. And then again same as a normal variable just put as and then you're going to put your variable type so I'm going to declare mine as double and that's it so now we've created our first array it's going to have four elements within it and it's just one dimensional so in order to start using this it's quite easy so if we're going to if we want to reference the first element of our array then we're just going to put my array and then you put the open brackets again and then you put in the index of the element you want to go for so I want to go for the first one which is 0 and that's it and then that is essentially just using one variable and it's not a completely separate variable it's, that's just one variable and then we can do the same things that we do with normal ones with it so I'm going to put it equal to 10 and I'm going to make my array and then one, so that's going to be the second element when in our array. And I'm going to make that equal to 15. And then my array two equal to 20. And my array three equal to 13. And then we can work with them the same way that we. That we do with variables, so I'm going to add them all together. So my array zero equals my array one plus. Fine, let's let's get rid of let's just get rid of three quickly. So I make my my array three equal to the other ones in the array. So delete that. So my way my array three equals my array zero plus my array 1 plus my array 2 and then I'm just going to write out my array 3 in a message box so you can see here so I'm setting the first element the second element and the third element uh, and then the fourth element in the array indexed by the number 3 it's just going to be the sum of all the other ones. So if we press play here 
and then you'll notice come out with 45 so that's just 10 plus 20 plus 15 so you might be thinking what happens if I go on further so let's try and do my array 4 and let's set it to 60 and then let's press play and then you're going to get an error message because you've you've said that this array only has four elements and it, essentially it only goes up to index 3 and so when you try and go to index 4 it's going to it's going to error in your program so you want to make sure that you get your your array size right right at the beginning so next i'm just going to show you two dimensional arrays so let's just create a new sub down here so uh, there we go. I can get rid of that. So let's call the sub uh, Sandy. Um, Sands is my surname, so some people call me Sandy. Um, so we're going to put in a two dimensional array. So let's dim my array again. Um, so it's a different sub, so it's not going to be the same as this one. It's, it's creating a, a different. Uh, scoped version of, of my array. Um, let's actually call it uh, dim my second array. And then to do a two dimensional one, so I'm still going to have three get it going up to index three, um, so it'll have four elements. And then I'm going to put a comma, and then I'm also going to put another three and close this off, and then as double. And then what this is doing is it's giving us our our references kind of, kind of like so it's given us a list of four elements but then it's also giving us f four indexes across the top it's going to give us z zero to three indexes across the top so it's essentially now a grid of of squares so in order to reference these we're just going to go my second array and then one and then comma zero and equals ten. So this this here now, so we've we've put in the second element down and the first element across. And you don't need to think of it as down and across because that's not actually how it, how it does it in physical storage. But but it, as a concept, that makes it a lot easier to understand. So this is how many elements down. This is how many elements across, or the index of your element across. And then you can just keep doing that. So my second array zero comma zero. Make sure you put your open bracket zero comma zero equals five. Uh, and then you can just reference them like that. So just always put your first element, second element. And then equally we can just put message box. Message box. And then we're going to put out my second array. One comma zero. Plus my second array. Zero comma zero. Let's press play on this, and then that's coming out with fifteen because it's added them together. And you might be thinking, what happens if I do if I reference one that doesn't hasn't been assigned a value yet? So let's put in uh, my second array, and let's put three comma three. And notice then when it came up, it actually tells you what your index things are with it once you've declared it which is really useful and let's get rid of the start excellent so let's play this so you might be thinking this was going to error but what it actually does is it because I've put them as doubles it's automatically going to put the value of them as zero if I ever try to reference them because it's going to initialize it there um, so that is how you would use one dimensional and two dimensional arrays. In the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to use three dimensional arrays. So thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.